people uh, used to survey from one survey point to another using the stars. We never had any of the tools that we see today. The first time that we really ran into I Ming, mean, we had a, an initial survey from land surveyors out. To start, we had building elevation, building corners, and that was it, and a lot of layout to do. It was clear that we needed help. In those days when we started, it was uh, theatre lights, chains, building levels, and that was the strategies that we had to lay out the EMP with. We're here at the Portland International Airport working on the Portland T-Core project. It all starts with layout. We're, we're here to make the project go faster, smoother. It's a security blanket. Knowing that you have layout guys on site, we can come out, we can do checks, we can make sure things are working. We communicate if there's issues, if everything's going smooth. The last thing we want to do is, is create a delay on this project. Being able to take what we're doing now and take that to the next level, there's a lot of untapped potential, I think, there. We're leaving a lot of the table, and now we're going full speed ahead on how to better integrate these systems and how to make it better and faster. At Hopin, we're always looking to be at the forefront of technology, so I'm really excited to share our new brand, Hopin Layout and Modeling. With the layout and modeling, we can find the issues before there are issues by understanding how things are actually built to millimeter accuracy we can get the information back to detailers, back to the OSM. All the stuff can be verified sooner, faster, and more reliably. 12 years ago, it used to be a disruptive technology, but now it's more commonplace and absolutely crucial to the process. Essentially, we're virtually constructing the building. We're taking the design models and the construction models, and we're aligning them, coordinating them, so we identify any hit issues before they hit the field. Hayward Field, awesome project, complex project. I can confidently say that it would have been impossible to build without these technologies and innovations. It was a huge challenge. This was a parametric design that had to be built to exacting tolerances down to an eighth inch to a quarter inch. With the advancement of these tools, it's an exciting time. And it's just gonna allow us to build bigger and more complex structures, more complex geometry. So the new technology we just purchased, we have thermal and LiDAR for our drone. We're going to be able to implement that with more pre-construction to utilize that even with marketing and getting that in front of the customer and showing them, hey, this is, this is what we do. This is where the industry and technology is taking us and leading us. This is how it's going to benefit your job when we hire us. From gold shovel in the ground till punch list and handover, you know, HLM has their hands in all of it. 